Hey, what's up guys, Zyper here and welcome into a brand new VG tutorial. Today I don't gonna show you how I've made my visuals in After Effects, but how I use them in Resolume Arena to play live on stage. I saw a lot of videos and pictures and everything of you guys using my visuals. I'm really happy and it makes me a real pleasure to see that. I saw my visuals on Tomorrowland and lots of other stages. It's really amazing, but come on guys. You always just play them and there is much more you can do with them live on stage to bring a little bit more personality into it. Because I've made some basic loops to have some really basic effects that works a little bit everywhere with all kind of stuff, LED screen and video projector if you have in full HD or on a very small screen. And the other thing is that it works with a lot of different effects and you can really easily bring lots of different looks with just 30 or 40 loops. So first, um, I know Resolume can do a lot of awesome stuff, but yeah, when I play live, um, I follow the music and it has to go fast as possible. And you know, working in this video and going fast is yeah, kind of difficult stuff. So how much more visuals you have, how much slower Resolume gonna be and how much more difficult it's going to be when you hear something to find exactly the right visuals, play it live and have the effect in perfect sync with the music. Mostly what's happened is that you hear something, oh that's nice, I'm gonna do this effect, where's the video, I'm searching for the video, loading time, finding the video, play it, okay I'm gonna apply this effect and this effect and like this and like this and oh no, new song, new effect, but come on. You're always too late. So what I've tried to work is to don't really be focused on the design of the video. So have some basic stuff. That's why I, I create this line series and can play with the effects really easy to follow the music. And that's go much more faster instead of changing all the time your visuals. So guys, let's go. How I set up my Resolume. So I mostly work with five layers. Uh, I don't use all the layers, but it's to have enough space to show up my videos. And I mostly use only 10 column. So I don't have too much and I use a lot of different stuff here. And yeah, that's why all my series are always 10 visuals. So here you have all my four banks and here I've prepared some other one with some special effects that's gonna change the visuals. And I have two ways to play my effects. So I have some effects that I'm gonna apply to one visuals, maybe like this. That's going to make, really change the visuals uh, without going to After Effects, apply an effect in After Effects, render it and have one more videos to trade. And then I have some really basic stuff here like exposure, like mirrors and everything that I can use over all the stuff and that's really gonna change my look on all the visuals. This here works with everything that's here. And the other effect, like here, I put the infinite zoom. This is gonna work and especially do just for this one. So before looking at that, uh, some other stuff. So my composition, uh, I'm here in full HD. This is a little bit of uh, main stuff. So I have a main composition in full HD with all my visuals and all the stuff I mostly use. And then when I have a special gig, they give me the resolution. I change the resolution and I adapt all the stuff, but I have all the visuals into Resolume, all the effects into Resolume. I just have to pick up two or three stuff. And yeah, so I want a much more time. I have some friends who set up everything from scratch all the time. They have a new gig and they spend one or two days to prepare everything. And I have everything ready. Just have to scale down, scale down everything. And yeah, that's it. Um, my composition settings are always the same. I don't really use the beat snap. Clip target, uh, always an active layer and clip trigger style always to normal. That means that I just choose one layer and if I want to play this, I play this. If I want to play this, I play this and like this. I mostly don't use uh, the blending or multiple layers. So why? Uh, because I design all the visuals myself or play some stuff that I like from friends. So the visual is nice. I don't have to blind some stuff together. And mostly when I blind stuff together, it doesn't look so great. 
I lose some opacity on each layer and my FPS is shutting down a lot. I have a really powerful computer, but how much layer you're going to use, how much FPS is going down and it's always lo lower. So I prefer play with effects that going my look, that, that give a new look to my visual and isn't too hard for Resolum to, to work instead of playing with a lot of different Slayer and do some horrible stuff. Uh, maybe like this, look, this visuals looks great. And yeah, maybe if I want to improve it, I can play with the mirror quite here. And yeah, my FPS doesn't move. I can change the color. Uh, I have it here. Add and subtract, you rotate and bah, that looks pretty horrible. Sorry guys. <laughs> now I do something nice like that. Uh, maybe shut the mirror quad down. So, and here I have a visual who looks totally different without changing a lot of stuff. Or maybe I can play with the mirrors. Add some twitch. Yeah, you understand the main idea. Same stuff for the effects. That means that I don't use the opacity and on these effects here, I mostly don't change the, the parameters like the opacity mode and everything. It's just on, off. Like I play this, okay, it's nice. I want to add mirror quad, I add mirror quad. I play uh, maybe a disco loop like this. I want to add a mirror into it, I add a mirror. Okay, and that's why I have sometimes multiple like they're here. I have two mirror because one mirror is just like this in the middle and the other one has the boss. And for me, when I play live, it's much more faster to, okay, I want this, I want a mirror in the middle, I push middle in the mirror. I want the other one, I have the other one. Instead of pushing the effect, going down, pushing this one out, okay, I lose three or four seconds where, okay, I want this effect, I have the effect. And that's all the time when I play lights, when I play videos, everything I do, I always try to go as fast as possible. Um, and without losing all the creativity. Same stuff here. Um, yeah, I'm gonna show you what I, what I use. So uh, I have always exposure. That depends. Uh, sometimes I play outside and on a low, low quality uh, LED screen. So I need to push up uh, the visual into Resolume to have to that when it's on the LED screen, it looks nicer. So sometimes it looks horrible in to Resolume, but on the LED screen, it looks nice. I have another one normally. It's the saturation. I'm gonna search it to S. Saturation here. You can do the same stuff, just push the saturation up. Here it looks horrible, but I have mostly much more color and it looks much more nicer on some LED screens. So that's some stuff you can do. Uh, then uh, if I am into this blue and white, so why blue and white? because I use the U-Rotate a lot, mostly all the time. And so I have a U-Scale and U-Rotate. With this one, you can change the color of your visuals. Maybe if you took this. And yeah, starting from blue, uh, I did it because I found it nice. And so I have access to all the colors. And it's the same for everything. So if I change my visuals, maybe I like a track, I am in blue, I want to play between two visuals. It's always in green, you know? If you have one in blue, one in red, one in your hue color, you have to always change it. And that's exactly the same stuff. Selecting a visual, it's going to you rotate, changing the you rotate. Okay, this color is nice. Oh, but the music is always continued. DJ is playing and yeah, the party is going on. You don't have time to always change your settings. And uh, Adam subtract. So here I just push some green out. And so I have two colors. I can play maybe if I want. I have access to a lot of B e color. So just with some with some one simple loop, I can have a lot of different looks with it and works with for everything. Then you just have to find the right way. I mostly work with um lighting desk to control resolume, so I have all my colors uh, synced with my lights. So I have program for red. When I push red, all the lights are going to red and all my visuals are going to red. Um, I have another one. If I want maybe red and orange, I click on it. 
all my lights are going to red and orange and all my visuals are going to red and orange. And that's why I have add and subtract and you call you rotate or well, combine. Mostly you, you can find all, all the stuff you need. Like here, red, something red, orange, red, yellow. So the guys who are working with the lights know a little bit how it works. And guys, if you're working only with videos, be open-minded. Nowadays, for me, lights and visuals are working together. It's the same job. The guy with the lights try to do something visuals and the LED screens uh, have to work like lights because it's all about the dynamic and the universe you're going to create around the track. So if you have control on all the visual stage, it's much more easier to do and much more better than if you have two guys who and everybody and each try to do his stuff and mostly they don't work together or working together at the same time is okay man come on i like this song i'm gonna do this can you do this oh sorry the song is finished always the same stuff so this is for the colors then i have a twitch just to make it move a little bit edge detection just to find some edges can be great uh maybe in the disco stuff Let's see Change the look a little bit. Uh, then I have a brightness and contrast. I think this is not in the right place. This has to go up because this is same stuff if I have bad LED screens just to push lighting up. Sometimes I play like this into Resolume. It looks horrible. And when I see it on the LED screen, I don't see all this white stuff. So guys, always look what's happening live and what the people see instead of looking what's happening on your computer. Sometimes I have a really bad FPS too and yeah, it doesn't see on the, on the screen so it's okay. It can be a nice effect to play at 5 FPS. Uh, then edge detection, then yes, the mirrors. That's the effects I use the, the most. Mirrors, that's just magic guys. You can do horrible things, it looks like nothing. You put a mirror into it and it looks nice. So I have one mirror like this, the other one like this and you combine to be some nice stuff and then I have mirror quad this is amazing too this is what inspired me the most the most to do the third line series because I have some really bad screen at Queen Club in my residency who are really really small and with a low resolution and I'm trying to do something big in the small resolution and I took all my visuals and I add this mirror quad and sometimes some when you add this effect, you have, you see the same thing, but you have much more. And that's what's inspired me because I do a lot of effect like this or like this. And I have delay here to be classic. And yeah, strobe. A lot of people ask me how I do, how I work my strobe. So mostly I have two. Maybe I have delete one. Here it is, strobe. So I, mostly I have one strobe that I control manually on the frequency. If I have some really fast strobe on my lights, I, I like to have one on the visuals too. And if I don't use this one, I'm always using this one here, who is a BPM strobe. Oh, I was listening to some hard time. Go back to 130. <laughs> EDM style. So um, this is really easy to do. Uh, if you guys don't know that you can do that, you can animate all the parameters. Just click here and you can animate on timeline, dashboard, BPM sync and everything. So uh, when you are using this drop effect, when you push the frequency to one, uh, it's always black. And so you can play with the opacity, you push the opacity to BPM sync. So it's animated and then you just go down to one bit and you have this drop effect on the BPM. Nice thing to know with the BPM, guys, if you are working a lot with DJs and nightclubs or festival, you can take the BPM clock from the DGM 900, DGM 2000 and all the pioneer stuff. And most of the DJs are working now with, re with a record box and the DGM 900 takes the BPM from record box directly. And so if you just plug a MIDI to USB cable into your VG setup, you are sure you have the exact BPM from the, from the track. And if the guy is pushing the pitch up, it's going pushing the pitch up here too. And you are always perfectly synced. 
you don't need a lot of SMTE and pushing a lot of cables and, and a MacBook to chat and everything. You just take that, you, you push the PPM strobe into it, your visuals and your strobe is always synced with the DJ and he's free to play and you are free to play too. So I use this one and I have another one who is the invert. Same stuff, uh, just push opacity, BPM and one beat. And then I have a kaleidoscope who normally I don't use so much. I love using Kalida uh, on After Effect, but Kaleidoscope on Resolume doesn't look so great. You can do some nice effects with it, but I don't like the scaling that it has. So just delete it. So guys, this is mostly the effects that I use and that works with everything. I mean, Mirror Quad works and looks amazing with pretty much all the effects I have here. Same stuff for the Mirror. And yeah, we're gonna add the U rotate all the time too. Because you rotate, guys, with this one, you can play all the Zyper visuals. If you play it in red and you play fi it five minute, uh, five minutes later into another color, people think you're playing two different visuals. And that's one of the best technique to play all your visuals and play them again, but in a different style and that looks great so and now let's see how to do magic without having a lot of to spending a lot of time on after effect and rendering and all the time so uh, this is the same than this one and I've just add infinite zoom with some rotation with some zoom looks like this so this is looking great and now I'll just add some mirrors and look like this, guys. This is a brand new effect. Uh, could be in a brand new free series, but yeah, you can do it into Resolume. You don't lose too much FPS. And this is looking great and looking new. And then you can change the color and add some strobe. And here you have a brand new effect without doing a lot of stuff. Just add some effects into Resolume. Same stuff here. This is the same that this one from the free series one. Uh, on this one, I add video wall. This is an amazing effect. It's going to add uh, a lot of different stuff from your... This going to easily duplicate uh, like a mirror quad, but much more. And yeah, just looks great. Change the color. Instead of using mirror quad, yeah, mirror, use mirror quad. And yeah, it looks great. You can do so much different stuff with just one basic loop. It's just amazing and goes much more faster than taking some amazing motion designs and add lots of effects into it. And yeah. Then another one. On this one, I use uh, fractal fragments. So without a fragment, with the fragment, and with some mirrors. Uh, maybe it's just this one and yeah, some different colors. It looks simply great, basic, but great. And yeah, same stuff. Is creating a new loop, a new loop with a loop that you have. Uh, on this one, I use the trails. Yeah, this one, trails. Um, yeah, just to give this different look. Same stuff, change the color. Looks completely different. If I add some mirror quad. Just be creative and don't search to do some too much difficult stuff. Um, this one I've add gradual blur. Just really basic, uh, small distance, small steps, no rotation because if you use the rotation, it looks like nothing. And then same stuff, change the colors and yeah, add some strobes. No, some fast strobes like this. This looks nice. Next one. Ah, uh, oh yeah, this I really love this effect. This is the cube title. Uh, you can set up a lot of stuff, but I do it really basic. Um, just push the visual on a title and make it rotate a little bit, and then all the, like all the time add some mirrors to make it looks very great. Yeah, maybe like this change the color 
And here you have a brand new visual. On the next one, I've used Striper. This is gonna cut it into a lot of different stuff. This is my base loop. This is with the Striper effect. And then I add mirrors. Oh uh, yeah, quad mirror. Looks a little bit bigger. And change the color and yeah, you understand the game. It's come from the third line. And I just add the Luma waves with some rotation. Doesn't look very special, okay. I admit it on this one. But I would like to use it because I like this effect. And with some mirror quad, it looks great. Yeah, like this. And so, yeah, just add... Um, mostly with, with this kind of effect, it doesn't move too much, so it looks very nice if you just add some rotate on one of the three axes and yeah just place it in the right stuff like this next one this is the most basic loop you can have just some line going out and yeah this is this one i add stringy sphere this one is perfect to use with spheres i worked in a club last time where they have said um led ball and they asked me, come on, guy, we have wire ELT ball. It looks amazing, but we don't have effects to use with it. And I tell them, guys, look, this is for free on my Vimeo channel. You download it, you push it on, push it on the ball, and you have uh, two perfect lines on the ball. What else? What else? Uh, yeah, <laughs> basic is the best. So you can have this effect. You can play a lot of other stuff. And I love to use it with Mirror Quad like this. Change the color. And this looks so great. This is all kind of effects uh, that you can use overall, like stringy spheres, like the mirror wall and everything. But I, I try to do it basic here. Uh, another one, ah, the triangulate. I love this effect. Look at this, this looks so amazing. So let's try. Let's just try all my visuals. It looks so great. Yeah, just play with it. And you guys gonna find a lots of idea, I think, with all the stuff. Oh, this is goo. Change it like this. With the colors, guys, if you don't work with, uh, uh, if you don't, if you aren't, light operator or you don't work a lot with light operator um, I will make a tutorial and maybe next week or when I have some time about um, how I work with colors and how I manage colors and visuals and all the stuff together so check out uh, if you see some lighting tutorial just check them out maybe it's not so interesting for you who are VGs but can bring you lots of new ideas I think uh, like I said Nowadays, lights and visuals really need to work together. If you have some blue visuals and you have some green and yellow lights, it looks like nothing. If you have everything blue, it's just amazing. And it's much more easier to do than pushing three or four colors. Uh, so this is the goo effect. On this one, yeah, this is Kaleidoscope. Pretty classic, but does the job. And uh, last one, this is the tunnel. on this one, if you haven't recognized it. This is um, the last line, all the stuff I just show you is just some copy that I did, like this, copy paste, and I add some effect to change the visual. So with just some basic free visual loop, you can have a lot, a lot of different looks. And when you play live, you can really change it to make it fit perfectly to the music. So don't hesitate to be creative and innovative, guys. Uh, it's VGing nowadays, it's not just pushing on a loop that you download or that you buy on a website and having a drink or playing Age of Empire. Uh, it's really, you, you have to follow the DJ, you have to turn the knobs, you have to, to push the speed up and push the speed down and play with the master, make some blackout and duplicate the speed and add some fast strobes into it. And yeah, that's it. That's what we want. We want some energy, we want something that's dynamic and that's the job of VG nowadays for me. And that's a little bit of what all the guys who call me for festivals and for nightclubs ask me to do. 
something dynamic, something that looks nice, instead of just pushing some visuals on the LED screens. And yeah, with softwares like Resolum, there's so much stuff to do. So guys, just do it. So guys, this was my first tutorial on Resolum. I've tried to show you a little bit how I work and some different stuff you can do with my visuals. Uh, hope you like it. Hope it gives you some ideas. I learned you some new thing. Uh, if yes, you can let me a comment and say me thanks. If no, you can let me a comment and tell me, come on, guy, be innovative. <laughs> and yeah, guys, if you have some ideas, if you have some other effects that I like to use or everything, to my so to share some comments, some suggestions, just uh, let me a comment. Send me a tweet on Twitter at Cyberworld or. Yeah, simply go to my website, cypervisuals.com, write me an email, contact at Cyper, and feel free to contact me. Hope you like it. See you next time for a brand new visual tutorial. My name is Cyper, and hope you like it, guys.